Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This engineer Heather Tulla with another interesting topic of ETAPS 2016. Actually, if you're a civil engineer, then you know that how to use ETAPS. But sometimes we make some little mistake, and that's why it show a big difference in our design process. I mean, in our design. Okay. So in this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how we solve that problem. So I will show you about link properties. Okay. So how and when we provide link properties in our model, and uh, if we do not provide link property in critical situation then what will be the issue here okay so um when you see uh just see, this is the third view but when you see that uh, there have many youtubers or uh, engineers who show you that just simply draw a beam and column with eccentric condition listen me carefully beam and column with eccentric condition but when we use that is a condition for our beam and for our columns then we may face some problem which types of problem so if i just go here just see here i have um defined i mean i have uh, drawn two columns and this column is eccentric okay this column is not uh, equal this column is eccentric here this is the center point of our column but our beam are in that direction so when you are uh, design on when you will draw a beam column in your model then you may face these steps of joint okay beam column joint eccentric beam column joint but uh, what we do we we do not consider even uh, i have seen many lectures from youtube but they, they do don't 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 didn't that and that's why it show us a big difference in our design result and uh, we do not concern about that or we do not understand uh, about that what is uh, that actually and we'll simply design that and sometimes we see that uh, some columns are not passing not passing we are creating i mean we're increasing our uh, column size in very huge so to solve these types of problem and uh, i hope you will learn about that in this lecture so before uh, that i just want to analyze that i have provided load on it and i have uh, make that both I've made that both models same okay the property same everything is same. actually there here the beam uh, columns are not showing because this column is not in that grid line that's why so nothing to worry about that so what i'll do now i'll just go for run analysis i will run analysis and just see we have if i go in through view just see we have column here we have provided column and also here 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 everywhere we have provided column but this site not supporting that beam anymore i mean the software considering that this beam are cantilever this beam are cantilever just see how dangerous situation you are creating here okay so i'll just show you from view then show rendered view for more confirmation just see if you see here just see this beam are connected with that column Okay, that beam are also connected with that column but that software doesn't know it's you know about that you know about that it's okay but software doesn't know that it's okay or not right that's why because um all our software consider the low transform from grid to grid point line to line point okay but when you will create some eccentric column like that then the software will not understand that what happening here then software will consider that this beam is only connected with that column and that column not that column because this um, both uh, center joining point are not same right so what we'll do when just see has a different and the most important difference i'll show you later okay i'll show you later about that so when it's done now i'll just put that and i'll go here plan view and study one and i'll apply link now so for that on or that on any of them i can provide link so to provide link i'll go assign then i'll go link and i'll go link properties and uh, here link one okay so in link one I i'll just uh, i'm sorry so here i'll just 
click here and again I'll go here and obviously you can see that your model are like that okay so what we'll do I'll just click here fixed all okay I'll click here fixed all because we'll consider our model is fixed and uh, we'll don't do anything here then I'll simply click ok and here link ok then click here ok and click here ok now just click here draw link so I'll click here link and from here you have to select your link properties so here I have selected a link one and for that one or that one I, I will only uh, draw link for one and uh, after that I will show you about the difference between them so here I have to find out the center point of them it's uh, sometimes it's difficult to find out center point of them uh, it's not showing in here the center point maybe yeah where I'll just little bit it is the center point so I'll click on that point and also I'll click on that point okay then enter so I am then escape I'll escape that now I am what I'm doing here actually what I'm doing here just I am considering that this is the center point of a column and this is the um, beam column join point so I'm considering that and I am uh, defining that that uh, beam are rigidly connected or fixedly I mean connected in very fixed without that column and it should be because our concrete beam are also rigidly connected with our beam sorry beam are connected with column okay so when it's that done now I'll go in 3d view okay just see here like some esters it's look like and again I will go for run analysis and see the magic here just see this column are giving you a huge deflection 1.54 inch deflection can you believe that 1.54 inch deflection it's giving you here because it's showing that this is a this is a cantilever portion that's why but here see that how much difference here it's it's giving you deflection obviously it is giving you giving you deflection but it's very low very low and now if i just go for our reaction then for dead load arrows and for f z then apply then okay just see here it's only showing the uh, reaction value four point here it's showing 4.05 keep only but in that side all loads have come here 33.1 okay and here it's showing almost same 18.72 and 18.44 just see what is the difference between them and now if you go for the SMDBMD okay then I'll just come here share to two then just see what happening here because it's giving you a cantilever condition for your a simple mistake it's giving you cantilever condition but it's giving you the pop art condition of her beam column okay now if I go for moment apply just see it is giving you different different value but it's giving you value for only cantilever portion right just see what is the moment here actually 10.49 only 10.49 and here 13 point 99 because this is eccentric this this is eccentric that's why that side moment will be a little bit high but just see here there are no moments here no when you'll when you design you'll see that wow my that column reinforcement are very low or minimum but here it's giving you the reinforcement for 176 i mean 176 keep feet moment just consider that how much reinforcement will be here and what will be the here actually but here the reinforcement will be almost same in both sides actually this is the main difference that uh, how we overcome that problem so i hope you have understood and i hope uh, that is very helpful for you so if you think that that is helpful for you obviously subscribe to our channel and let me know in comments that uh, is it helpful for you or not and don't forget to like our video and if you love me if you like my video 
and if you really want that if you want to i mean if you really want to support me then join as a member so it will be very uh, supportive for me and also i will help you through different categories and thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video